you know, we're trying to do some good out of a <laughs> not ideal situation. Hey guys, we got, and by we I mean me, <laughs> I got all of the subfloor framed on the outside at least. And I got all of the cross sections cut. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna get everything glued down, everything attached, and we're going to cut the insulation. Um, I'll do a long chat about what insulation I chose, why I chose it, where it's going. But for now, I'm doing a half inch foam board with quarter inch foam board on top of it. And there's a story to explain why. Uh, I'm trying to keep my floor as low profile as possible. And quite frankly, the lows just did not have three quarter inch foam insulation. And they couldn't even order it. I don't know why. But I'm kind of here in like the middle of nowhere and my options were limited, especially since they didn't have it. So that's why I had to do it. But I think it's gonna work out really great for a lot of different reasons, which we'll get to. But right now, I'm gonna get these pieces of foam insulation cut I'm gonna get these cross beams uh, glued down and attached, and we're gonna have a subfloor eventually. <laughs> super cold but it's pretty cold it's below freezing that's cold that's cold <sighs> got this guy I got a big buddy heater I think that's what I'm going to roll with um, and here's why it's super compact it holds two of the one pound of cylinders or <clears throat> if you get a hose with a regulator it can be hooked up to a, a bigger tank I think as high as 50 60, well, I don't know, maybe a huge tank, I don't know. I'm mulling between like a 20 to 40 pound tank, somewhere in there, 25 pound, whatever it is. Uh, anyway, it's real hot. I had to take my coat off and there's like hardly anything in here is insulated. So that's really good news. Um, you know, well, I'll do a whole video about the heater. You can see the windows are fogging over. <clears throat> uh, you know, science, <laughs> a byproduct of, of burning propane is moisture. So that's something that I'll have to address. But I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, <clears throat> still framing this floor, all right? And here's where we're at. This is the shower right there. So we're not doing anything with that yet. We're framing and insulating around that for now. Um, you already know that I had to do half inch and quarter inch insulation in order to get um, the three quarter inch height that I was looking for. Uh, and here's a great example of a, a situation where that's working out for the better. You can see right there to get around the shower, I had to do some, some fancy business cutting wise. It's a weird shape. It's a real pain in the butt. Um, but this is one instance where having to use these two different kinds of insulation is awesome because I had to make some real weird seams for the half inch foam insulation. So I made sure with this insulation, with the quarter inch insulation, that I am not putting the seams in the same place. And you know, I mean, I'm sealing all the seams, I'm filling all of those, but it just adds one more layer of uninterrupted insulation over those cracks. Uh, then we're adding onto that a layer of plywood 
uh, and my hardwood flooring. And so, you know, we're trying to do some good out of a <laughs> not ideal situation. But that's where I'm at, guys. And this is, the framing is probably gonna take a couple days. So let's get this finished. Oh, hi, I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can, subscribe here, you won't miss a thing. Or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here. Or just click here, watch another video.